the Nigerian stock uh, stock exchange. Let's move on to that. All share index up 1.48%, uh, closing at 34,810. Uh, market capitalization is now 11.15 trillion naira. Yesterday, we saw gains in the likes of Nestle, Dangote Cement, Nigerian breweries. We saw Como, uh, uh, we saw Como Oil as well, gaining two naira. Uh, losses in PZ, Access, uh, GT, Diamond Bank. So, of course, some pressure in the banking sector. Uh, joining me from the trading floor of the NSE to discuss the equities market is Titi Ogumbeson. She's an equities broker at Stambik IBTC Stockbrokers. Uh, Titi, it's very good to have you on the show with us today. Yeah, good morning, Didi. Good morning. Thank you for having me this morning. Let's start with that Access Bank Q1 uh, result. Of course, still being the talk of the moment. Revenue uh, and PAT down. Uh, we've heard, uh, of course, you know, from management stating uh, that the company's loan book, uh, loan book didn't grow as planned in Q1. There's also mention of Amcon surcharges and uh, refund on excess charges on accounts in 2012. It would be good for you to start by talking uh, us through your impression of the, the Q1 result. Yeah, for the access result we saw in the market, the Q1 result, it was actually a weak start. The profit before tax declined about 26%, up in 11.4 billion naira. And um, we saw that gross earnings was probably like flat, losing 1% compared to 2012. We saw also a decline in net interest margin by 5.8% and cost to income ratio increased about 11 percent um, to 69 percent in 2013. We see this as a weak start from Access Bank, but we saw improvements in the improvement in the asset as um, there was a recovery of about 418 billion naira. We see this. Um, we expect recovery on in the remaining quarters of the year, and we expect that um, Access Bank would still turn around as um, the, the, the bank is actually focusing on storm strategies. Mm. Hello? Let's, now let's talk about, uh, you know, the, the, um, as you mentioned, the company being able to uh, recoup in quarter two. However, they also announced that CBN's new tariff will set them back 1.8 uh, trillion uh, naira per quarter. Now they, they also, um, of course, we also knew, um, know that you know, you know they mentioned recouping capital, but no interest from their capital oil deal. Now, knowing all this, how confident are you that the company will actually recoup uh, in quarter two? Um, based on our analysis, our analysts will see Access Bank as a buy. Access has a target price of about 12.8 naira, and um, we expect that um, the bank has also laid down some strategies in turning around the remaining quarters of the year. They're focusing on improving retail penetration and um, improving the the um, deposit mix and um, funding. They're also looking at um, cost improving the customer service to pre-major levels and we expect that with all the strategies in place the Q2 is going to be much better than what we had in Q1. It will definitely be good to see uh, what happens with uh, that company in Q2 but what about your expectations for Q1 results from some of the other banks? I mean we've seen uh, some good performances uh, in terms of the uh, full year 2012 results from some banks out now. Uh, what are your expectations? Yeah we expect that for Q2 for the other banks were still positive and were still bullish on the expectation in the market. Um, for Zenith, the likes of Zenith and GTB, we saw a great improvement from 2012 numbers in 2013. Their profit after tax and profit before tax were actually miles away from where they were last year. And we expect this to replicate in the Q1 results. And we've seen that um, banks are already locking into the special placing, special OMO. Um, or more, and um, we expect this to translate into um, profitability for these companies. So we're bullish on the second quarter, on the first quarter results. Okay, but Titi, let's talk a bit more about CBN's gradual phasing of COT and the removal of ATM charges. Now, surely this is bound to have a major impact on um, bank earnings going forward, which, which of course would uh, affect the stock performance of the banking sector this year. 
Yeah, we, we know that um, the, the reduction in the COT and the wiping off of the ATM charges would actually impact on the bank's earning, but we don't actually expect that this will be significant. As the COT commission on turnover for 2013 is going to reduce to three, three naira per million, and um, next year it will reduce to two naira, 2015 one naira, and 2016 it will be zero. So it's going to be gradual, it's not going to go off at once. And at the moment, some customers, especially the big customers of the bank, are really enjoying three naira. So it's not going to be so significant in terms of the materiality of the impacts on the earnings. And we expect that by 2016, the impacts might be great, but we know that banks would have looked for other sources of generating income. Now let's talk about this proposed merger between Universal Insurance and African Ally uh, Alliance Insurance. We've, of course, uh, seen uh, more mergers in the insurance space. We know that there was a, um, a custodian and crusader. Uh, what reaction can we see from the insurance space going forward? Yeah, for the insurance blitz, we see this as a welcome development in the market, and we see that this is actually strengthening the insurance sector. We saw Crusader and um, Continent um, and um, Custodian Alliance earlier, mm -hmm. and we are also seeing Universal Insurance and African African Alliance Insurance come together to form Universal Alliance Insurance. We expect this to strengthen the insurance space as we expect that um, mergers will help translate into synergy and this will develop the insurance sector, which has actually been slow for a while looking at um, the sectorial analysis of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Now, very, very quickly, let's talk about the uh, recent increase to 10% trading ban on all listed equities with effect uh, April. That was against 5% trading ban. Is the market already reacting to that news? Yeah, we have actually seen this translate into a lot of volatility in the market. Now that the trading band has increased to 10% from the 5% it used to be, though the market making stock had already increased to 10% before now, mm -hmm. but moving all equities to 10% trading band has actually caused for volatility. And we see a lot of participation and liquidity in the market. I we see. see a lot of intraday trading, which has actually stimulated the market more. So we expect that this is actually a good development and capital market. We expect that this would deepen the market. 